Just think. Just think. You're not here by chance. All right. But by God's choosing. His hand formed you and made you the person that you are. He compares you to no one else. You are one of a kind. You lack nothing. His, that you lack nothing that his grace can't give you. He has allowed you to be here at this time in history to fulfill his special purpose for this generation. That's all that card said. But it's just a reminder just to think. Sometimes we do get low. All right. And as Christians, we get low and start saying, is it all in vain? Is it all worth not? All the things that we've done, the songs that we've sang, the hymns that we've read, the praises that we've lifted up. Yes. Sometimes we look around and it says, you know what? It's not worth it. But believe me, in the end, it's all worth it. Just think. In the end, when we get together, in the end, when this is all said and done, for the people who question our faith, for the people who look at us sometimes and say, why do you do what you do? Why do you go when you go? Why do we put up with the things that we do? And sometimes it comes from those who we love the most. See, Satan has a way of hurting us and hindering us. It's not by us. Because if you're rooted and grounded in your strong faith in the Lord, he can't move you. Amen. Like that song says, I'm like that tree that's planted by the rivers of water. Right. We flow and we bend and we move, mm -hmm. but we're unmovable. Yes. But Satan has a trick. Right. He conquers us through the ones we love, our children, our spouses, our friends, our kindred. That's how he hurts us. Mm -hmm. But our church covenant says that we're supposed to go and try to persuade them to come on in. Because when it's all <coughs> over and said and done, for those who have questioned us, is there really a God? Amen. Is there really Jesus coming back for us? Amen. We know without a doubt. Amen. There's nothing that they can say or do to persuade us, but we have to persuade them. All right. People is getting late. Yes, Minister talked this morning and talked about the future. Prophecy is still going on. Amen. Listen and just think. Amen. 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 I'd like to thank Sister Minor for something that's full of thought. Amen. Yes, we're having a wonderful Guiding Truth Women's Day service. Right. Our theme again, Women with Issues. Found in Matthew 9, chapter, verses 21 through 22. Uh, let me take the time to um, thank Mother Morris, Pastor Morris, Reverend Lawrence for giving the opportunity to be the MC. And we have a wonderful message in store by um, um, our sister Ernestine Long Amen. from the Christian Community Church. Let's Amen. give her a big hand. Sister Hill, I Amen. 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 We were reading, and behold, 
a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, if I may be but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thou faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Amen. Subject. Women's with issues. Amen. Women's with issues. Amen. And also, I would like to thank my sister, Evangelist Winters. Amen. 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 Dear Heavenly Father, come to you as humble as I know how this afternoon, Father. Yes. Sir. Thanking you for your many blessings. Lord, I'm asking you to bless everyone under the sound of my voice, Master. I'm asking you to word my mouth. And Master, whatever I say, let it be pleasing to you. Amen. Realizing, Master, if it's pleasing to you, <coughs> I know everything will be all right. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name, Jesus amen. Name. Amen. 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 Women's with issues. Amen. Now, we all have issues. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Say that. And you may say, I don't have issues. All I can tell you is keep living. Mm. You will have issues coming yes. up in your life. Yes. Now, there are many types of issues. Different types. My issue may not be the same as your issue. Your Amen. issue may not be the same kind of my issues. <coughs> we all have issues. Yes. Let me give you an example. You may have an issue with your co-worker on your job. You may have an issue with your boss. Mm -hmm. You may have an issue at home mm -hmm. with your spouse, right. with your children, yes. sister, brothers, mother, father. You may have issues with your friends. You may have issues with drugs, well, adultery, mm -hmm. fornication, mm -hmm. gossiping, yes. lying, mm -hmm. sickness, mm -hmm. death, pride. Some of us have issues with ourselves. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And some of us have, believe it or not, and I'm not saying God and truth have, but some of us have issues with our pastor. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Issues all around us. My God. Amen. All over the place is issues. Mm -hmm. Issues have not just come up in my generation. Mm -hmm. It haven't come up in the generation before me. Mm -hmm. It didn't come up generation behind me. Amen. But if we read the Bible, we see that there is lots of issues going on from Genesis to Revelation. Yes, all right, sister, yeah. say it now. That's right. Issues, issues all, right. all around. Yeah. Let me give you an example. Eve had issues with Satan. Yeah. Sarah had an issue with Hagar. You know what hand mean? Yeah. You know when the Lord told Sarah and Abraham here to go have a, a child? Yeah. Uh, Sarah had an issue with that, so she sent a hand, handmaid to Hagar and to Abraham when she had the baby. Sarah had an issue with that. All right. Amen. All right. Issue. Amen. Issue. Hannah had an issue with Mary. Yeah. <laughs> had an issue with Naomi. Yeah. Do you know when Naomi was going back to her family and her people, you know, uh -huh. when she told Ruth to go back to your family, uh -huh. your body. Right. Yes. Ruth had an issue with that. Yes. Issue Ruth wanted uh Naomi God to be her God, her family to be her family. So yes. Ruth had an issue of turning around and going back. Uh -huh. Martha had an issue with Jesus. Yeah. All right. All right. You know when Martha told Jesus, if you have been here, yes. my right. brother wouldn't have died. Yes. Right. It was talking about Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, talking about Lazarus. Uh -huh. But Martha had an issue with yes. that. Yes. Yes. Not only women have issues. Come men's on. have issues too. All right. yeah. I'm not going to leave you out. Yeah. Men's yeah. have issues too. Yes. All right. All right. Have yeah. issue with yeah. 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 Man. Noah had an issue with people not believing him when God told him to go to the ark. You know, Noah, he preached for about 120 years. Yeah. Repent, it's going to rain. Right. He had an issue with that. Daniel was placed in a lion's den. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was placed in the fire of furnace because they had issues of worshiping 
false god. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jonah had an issue with God when God told him to go down to Nineveh and cry against him. Yeah. Uh -huh. He had an issue with that. Mm -hmm. Peter had an issue of denying Christ. Christ. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Saul had an issue with the priesthood. Yes. Like I say, issues, 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 issues. All, right. all over the place. <laughs> now these people had issues, but they had faith in the Lord Jesus Come Christ on. to overcome their issues. Now let's get back to the woman with the issue of blood. This story not only is in Matthews, but it's also in Mark 5, 25 to 34, and Luke 8. 43 and 48. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to read these verses, but right. you need to read these verses and put them together in order to get the victory of this woman. Yeah, all right, mm -hmm. all right. The story of the woman with the issue of blood is one with despair turned into happiness, mm -hmm. of being considered unclean mm -hmm. to one being called by Jesus' daughter. Mm -hmm. What made what man may call unclean, the right. Lord may call something else. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And when we first met this woman with the issue of blood, Jesus was on his way to help someone else. Yeah, right. Jesus was still about his father's business. Yeah. 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 Jairus, a certain ruler, had a daughter, yeah. and she was very, very ill. Yeah. Yeah. So he, was, he wanted Jesus to come to help his daughter. And how interesting it is that this young this young girl was 12 years of age. Amen. And the woman had the issue of blood for 12 years. But put both of these people together, they would show the power of Jesus in a mighty way. Yes. Now in the scripture, 12 is a perfect number. Amen. 12, 12, let me tell you something about 12. Come on. Twelve signify perfection yes. in the government. Yes. Therefore, in other words, there were twelve apostles. That's right. Twelve right. tribes of Israel. Yeah. 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 I said Jerusalem said right. John Vision portrayed twelve gates. Well, yes. uh, and at the twelve gates was twelve angels. Yes. Yes. The wall of the city was twelve uh, foundations. Oh my yes. God. The length, breadth, and height of the city was twelve thousand feet. Come on. Yes. Yes. Right. In other right. words, one eighth of a mile. Yes. Yes. Right. Solomon had 12 officers yes. for all Israel. That's right. And he had 12,000 horses. The sun and the moon was made to rule the earth, I mean, move, rule the day and govern the night. Yes. And they did it by passing through the 12 signs of the zodiac, <laughs> oh, yes. which completes 360 degrees. Yes. In the book of Judges, yes. there was 12 judges. Yes. Right. The Lord Jesus was 12 years old when he first appeared. Come on, now. Come on teacher. Right. Come on now. His first recorded Word. That's right. right. Twelve, I tell you, twelve. Twelve. That's right. We read that as Jesus was on his way to Jairus' house, there was a multitude oh. of people yes. who followed him. That's yes. right. And when I say a multitude, I mean there was a great crowd. It was not only that his twelve disciples, but there was great many people that followed him. Oh, yes. This woman had been in this very serious physical state for 12 long, Twelve years. long years. She had spent all her living on physicians, and no one could help her. No one. No one. She had suffered many things from the hands of these people. And she didn't get any better, but she was getting worse. <coughs> worse. All right. Yes. Yes. All right. Now, imagine today that if we had an issue for 12, 12 long years, years. Yes. we probably would have did the same thing this woman would have did. We probably would have spent our life saving. Oh, yes. yeah. right. Going any place and every prayer That's to right. get healed. Mm -hmm. yes. We probably would have probably went to some readers. You know what that means, you know, readers. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Probably went and bought some prayer. <coughs> we probably would have did anything that we could to be healed. Yes. Yes. But you know, according to the Leviticus law, she was considered unclean. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. This meant that she could not participate <coughs> in public worship. No. Nope. Yes. And that she had to endure many social limitations yes. as well. No doubt, this woman was in very <coughs> condition. Amen. She knew that her condition 
made her a social outcast. When this woman had heard of Jesus, she came behind him and she touched the hem of his garment. And this reason is because she said within herself, if I could only touch his garment, I all right. Now we don't know much about this woman. The Bible didn't tell us her name. He didn't tell us her background. He didn't even tell us her age. Mm -hmm. But we know that there was a woman who had an issue. Now remember, we don't know how this woman heard about Jesus. Well, she didn't say, "If I touch him." She didn't say, if I just lay hands on him. That's right. She didn't say, if he touched me. Well. Or if he prayed for me. Right. Yeah. She didn't say any of these things. No, no. She said, if I can only touch yes. him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, we don't know who told her about Jesus, but it is enough that when this woman heard of Jesus, she believed that he could heal her. Yeah. Yeah. No more than that, she believed that she only had to touch, touch. the hem of his garment. Yes. Yes. Her Thank faith you, was so great, so great. Yes. that she did not believe that he would only heal her partially. Mm -hmm. well, he would completely yeah. heal her. Yeah. All right. Yes. This woman came up behind Jesus and touched the hem of his garment and straightway. The fountain of her blood just dried up. Oh, God, amen. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that issue. Yes. Her healing was immediate and complete. Yes. yes. Now something was required of her. The same things Jesus required yes. of us. That's right. Something was required of her. Mm. Let me tell you what it was. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself the virtue that had gone out of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He turned about him in the crowd. He turned about him in the press. And he said, who touched me? Touched touched me. me. Well, yeah. Who touched my All right. Yeah. He had felt power mm -hmm. to go from him as the woman was made whole. Uh -huh. There's virtue in everything that belongs to Christ. Yes. Yes. We know that Jesus knew who touched him. Yeah. But he was looking yes. for a confession yes. of faith from that woman. That's not what Jesus said. That's all yeah. we do. We need to confess. All right. The triumph of her faith must be of her praise and honor. Yes. Now, just as surely Jesus know the moment of our salvation, joy should be in heaven over the sinner that repented. That's right. He is waiting for our confession. Yes. yes. From our lips. Yes. That if thou shalt confess, confess. Wow. The, Lord the Lord Jesus and shall believe, believe in his heart right. that God has raised, raised him from the dead, yeah. thou shalt yeah. be saved. That's right. Yes. For with the heart man believeth yeah. unto righteousness, yes. yes. and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whosoever believeth on him, shall not be ashamed. Yes. When we believe the truth, which is the gospel of salvation, when we receive the Lord Jesus as our Savior, well, we are made clean. clean. Yes. Washed yes. in his precious blood. All right. right. Yes. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, yes. he is no creature. No creature. All things are passed away. Yes. Yes. Behold, all, all things, things are coming. Yes. Yes. And we have faith and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we can overcome our issues just like that woman. Yes. 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 The woman came down before him. She declared unto him before all the people That's for right. what reason she had touched him yes. Yes. and how she was healed immediately. Yes. Yes. She obeyed his charge. This is what we need to do sometimes. Yes. We need to obey the charge of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. To confess who has touched him. Ooh. Because she believed that he could make her whole. Yes. Yes. Right. Now what a testimony that must have been to all. And <coughs> this woman who was unclean is now healed. Yes. Not yes. by physician. Come on. All right. Not by you, not by me. Mm -hmm. But by this man named Jesus on, Christ. All right. All right. All right. Then Jesus uttered those beautiful words. Mm -hmm. Daughter, 
Yes. Be of good courage. Yes. yes. In other words, cheer up. That's yes. Right. Thou faith have made Faith. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Yes. How happy this woman must have been, and how at peace to know that she is whole yes. and had overcome her issues. Yes. Yes. Now, wait a minute, you were sitting under the sound of my voice. You know, you that had a father that come on, I mean, to grow under, have mm. a loving father in your household. Just imagine how you feel when a loving father puts his arms around mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and said, daughter, it's okay. Yes. 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 Daughter, I'm yes. proud of you. Yes. Daughter, I believe in you. Yes. Yes. And he put his arm around you. How yes. good right. that must have been. For yes. 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 well, your present, your physical father to tell you that. Yes. Yes. But what of your heavenly father? Heavenly father. Yes. Said, daughter, yes. Yes. cheer up. Yes. Yes. Be a good cousin. Yes. Yes. That's all he wants us to do. Yes. Just have faith in him and he will move our issue. Yes. 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 Jesus told her that it is her faith her that voice. she is saved. Yes. Yes. She yes. feared being rebuked since her issue rendered her unclean. Mm -hmm. well, now, according to the Jewish law, she was encouraged. encouraged mm -hmm. And she thought she was going to be discouraged. Mm -hmm. He called her daughter, yes. for he spoke to her with tenderness yes. of her father. Amen. He put honor upon her faith. Yes. Yes. Because, you know, in this That's time, right. you know, right. she considered being unclean, and by she's being in the crowd, yes. she had to go and touch people and so forth. That was, in Jewish law, you know, that was a common. That was, that she right. was out of order at that yes. time. But Jesus, <coughs> just <coughs> look at him. Yes. He encouraged her yes. simply because she had the faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, like I said, I'm not going to stand before you long, but before I sit down, before okay. I take my seat, I want to leave this thought with you. That's so. You know, this woman had the faith of a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. right. yes. And you know, the word says that if you have a faith of a mustard seed, mm -hmm. you can move mountains. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's now, right. I'm not talking yes. about these mountains out here in All the right. land. I'm not come talking on, about come this. On. Right. You know, I'm talking about the mountains Make it that plain. in your life. Yes. 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 You know, the issue of blood was the mountain in this woman. That's, That's right. right. Yes. That's now, right. we have different issues in our life. Yes. There can be different mountains. Yes. And all we have to do is just have the faith have the faith. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Do you know how large or how small the mustard oh, seed is? Jesus. Yeah. Come on now. Do well, you really know mm -hmm. how small? How small? The, you know, he didn't say, okay, you got to have this mountain moving mm -hmm. faith. You got to have a faith of way up here. No, he said it's a faith of a mountain oh, seed. Yes. Yes. Mustard yes. seed that yes. you can move. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ladies, <coughs> women, you with issues, men's, I'm including you too. All the Lord is just asking us to do today yes. is just have that faith of a mustard yes. seed. Yes. This lady had faith. She had this issue for 12 long years. Yes. But she had faith, and by her faith, she yes. healed. Yes. And I want to say to you, ladies, have faith of a mustard seed. Uh -huh. So for we can move our issues out of our life. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right.